Hey, Spartan and Jones here, bringing you guys a guide on the levolutions on the original maps of Battlefield 4. So, let's get started. The first one is Operation Locker, which on this one you have to destroy all three of these main pillars in the centre of the map. Uh, you only have to use one piece of C4, which I found out on this. So, just use that. And then it should come down to the middle with all the stuff from the tower from the single player. Where you meet Dimmer and as you see here, this is on Xbox, which on this it just fades colour, so that means you know that it's getting destroyed. And it's just, it's a good feature to put in since they've put in like all the maps from single player, which are good things to do, but yeah. I think, yeah, the next one is Golmud Railway, which on this one there are five IEDs around the maps, which are just explosives that you can activate. But here's the first one away from the Russian spawn. Right, but there, as you can see, there was laggy. Oh, 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 oh. Will I do it? Will I do it? <laughs> Will I eventually go into the... Nope. No. Ah, no, there you go. So as you can see there, as you see it'll explode by there. You press X or square on PlayStation and then... Poof, and it just gets destroyed. Now then, the next one is further on the map. It's near C on the map. And I don't know why. Ah, oh, more lag, more lag. Still, this will be a good time to talk about what kind of things you're going to see on this channel. Sorry that I feel a little bit drained, kind of ill, but you'll be able to see some Minecraft videos, some custom creation things, which it came out mm, on Monday? No, Tuesday. On Tuesday, there was a, my first custom creations map thing, uh, which was the 20 block long TNT cannon you'll expect that one and then there'll be another one on the Tuesday coming which will be another one then in that week as well there'll be the add-ons for this uh, for Battlefield 4 for China Rising which I think they've glitched it a little bit and it says that you can search for the air supremacy and the maps which there isn't any servers so I think they put them in a little bit too early but as you can see there that's how deep the holes can get for this thing I'll just speed it up speed it up speed it up and on this my mates are just screwing around so yeah they were trying to kill me I was trying to kill them <laughs> I missed every single shot but still yeah, so, here's another one, as you can see, this is what it looks like, it's like loads and loads and loads of rockets. If you just follow the wire, the wires are all yellow and black on the map, and it's just, there's the, and you have to just try and find all the blue boxes. And so, yeah. It's only the second map, but, yay. Okay, so, here's the fifth one, my mate here. Danny, it killed me as it got exploded, sorry. But is a Caesar Shanghai, which was in the beta, so I think everybody knows how to do this one, but I thought I'll show it anyway. So on this one you have to destroy all four of the pillars that are on the water side of the tower. Which as you can see here it took me quite a long time just to get this right. And you know when it's been destroyed, when half of it's been cut off. There's only rubble, and I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of help from my mates on this one when they were at the top messing around, <laughs> and I just had to use my C4. And see, look, they just came downstairs just to give me ammo, and then thanks. <laughs> but it takes at least six goes per thing, per pillar 
to destroy it, it's, so it should take like 18 sachets of C4, I think it's sachets, packets of C4, <laughs> to destroy it, and as you can see here, it's just speeded up a lot, 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 I don't know what it's speed up to, but yeah, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, some guides with me not being like with a sore throat and all that <laughs> remember to comment to say and all that and give me some ideas of what I could do next since I'm doing all of this for you guys really <laughs> for you guys that have subscribed you 19 people I went up from 18 to 19 so one more I got 20 and then I'm hoping that I could do some more on Minecraft, then over time I could do like Hunger Games with subscribers and all that stuff. You see there, my mate got obliterated by the, <laughs> by the tower. <laughs> but still, it is a uh, Lankang Dam, which is where on this one you have to destroy the huge dam and it just breaks down. I would have thought it would be better if, like, as soon as you destroy the dam. It like brings down water and just flushes like everything away for the middle. That would have been better, but still. As you see here, my mate just tries to use the helicopter to get destroyed. You can see some fire shot, and then he just crashes the helicopter, and then pff, did nothing to it. <laughs> As made from my other team, just yeah, there you go. And uh, yeah, but to continue with the. Um, actually no, let's talk, 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 talk about that in a second. To get destroyed you have to do it above the line that's on the connection part and the best way to use, or the best way to destroy it is to use this vehicle, the APC, instead of, I don't know, APC, or the, the LAV, whatever it is. Don't use any other weapons or all that stuff, it's a lot easier to just use this since it's unlimited ammo, you just have to wait for reloads now. But, as you can see I struggled a little bit to stay on an angle to hit it right. And it took me, it took us quite a long time to do this. It took us at least seven minutes just to destroy this, every single time. And, oh, sorry about that. And every single time we joined the game since there was three of us, um, there's usually like one a uh, random person that joins the game and then it starts it so we had to do that quite a lot of times on the operation locker one it took us ages to do it. it took us at least seven attempts so I thought I'll do it by myself but you know when you got it destroyed it just you hear the sirens as you can hear in the background and it's close to getting destroyed as it, I think yeah it's gonna slow down about now there you go right and I let like a few more shots into it I right here I've as you can see there I've got my mate WXM Ginger Ninja which is Benito and Captain Netbird which is the Danny which I'll do some stuff with them over time we'll do some like hunger games together and all of that, uh, but as you can see there, um, the whole dam just came down. I would have thought like water would have been better since it is a dam, and I don't know why it hasn't like, destroyed it. So this one's Zavod 311 or 311. On this one, you have to turn on the generator, which is on the other side of the building, which you have to do first, which is what my mate did. And then you have to go to this computer console here to activate the timer. Which on PC, I'm guessing on next gen, it actually has the numbers. But on this gen, you've just got a bar going across. But as you see there, my mate just activates it. And then it says, and it's got a red line as soon as you get across. It takes three minutes to do it. And yeah. So if you guys want to see more of this and more like minecraft stuff if you have if you want to do stuff like that with me sorry i'm tired and um <laughs> the 
don't know what we're meant to do in there. But, uh... <laughs> you guys can join me in some Hunger Games and all that stuff. You can do, like, uh, open lobbies of Hunger Games. People, like, invite me. I want to try and do some Hunger Games with YouTubers. Hunger Games with... Games. Hunger Games with friends. And Hunger Games with, um... Subscribers. It should be a lot better, as you can see here. The three minutes of a and then that huge like chimney tower thing gets fallen down as you can see it just gets closer and closer and closer to the camera I didn't notice it was going to fall until then and it just goes into like debris I don't know why but I didn't show the rest of it but this one's on rogue transmission on this one you have to destroy these six wires behind the two towers that you can get up to so, I think it was... <sighs> My mate already did the other one. And then, they're doing this one now, as you can see, there's like, little wires getting pl plung off. Like, there's another one and all that. I was shocked that if you go on top of this, so you don't just die straight away. You get a chance to like, well, you get fallen off, which I didn't notice. <laughs> But, I want to say, like, thanks to my mates Danny and Benito for help, helping me do this. I don't think I would have done it um, without them to make this one. Uh, it was quite hard. It's, it's quite a lot of destruction on this one. It's just, it's a lot easier for me to get an angle like that instead of, like, up high. But, still, next one is I think it's Dawnbreaker yeah Dawnbreaker which on this one we struggled a lot because I recorded this before they did the update which there was uh, some issues with uh, Hanan or Hainan resorts or and this one where if you join in an empty game you freeze it freezes on the loading screen but on this one you have to go down these main parts there's these holes in the middle of the map this one's near B and you just have to release the gas on this one I didn't get a good view of it because I couldn't race across this one this one's closer to D so B and D are the places you have to go to and there's these two holes in the ground my mate was activating it I was supposed to get in the helicopter. But though, on this, the whole middle part explodes. You can get through to the middle part, or the, uh, underneath the middle part, and then Steve's bridge just gets destroyed through the middle. So, as you can see here, oh, I, I'm terrible at flying. I had the default flying controls on. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. And you can just hear the explosions. So it just explodes, you get a little bit of lamps and that. So on this one, it's Hanan Resort or something like that. On this one, you just have to destroy these uh, pillars, these supports, the white parts of the towers. There's two on each side you can do. But on this one, we thought to do this one fast because this was like a map that somebody was just joined. So. As you can see here, my mate has an idea of it. Yeah, with uh, a jet to uh, <laughs> destroy it, it worked. So you could do that to do it. <laughs> but I would say the best way to use this vehicle, the LEV, just to get it destroyed faster. But you could use a jet. The jets are fun that way. And then the best way to do it is to destroy the parts above the place that I'm look, looking at now, there's these parts, and then as you can see there, somebody was just about to join the game, and we were like, oh god, what's happening, what's happening, what's happening, and then we had to do it as fast as we could, <laughs> just to get it, as soon as you see that spark there, I would say that you're doing it in the right place, to hit that part by there. I'm 
so, so the next one is Paracel Storm, which was the last one I ever recorded. It took me ages, as you see I beached the thing, but for this one you have to wait until the lightning strikes that tower by there to shoot at it and as you can see I've got hit markers which mean um, you've got um, that that one's the way to do it on this one I had some of the enemy team help me because on this one you can only do it in a single in a actual match instead of just going into like an empty one because this one goes off score as soon as somebody gets up to 150 or close to that it activates the storm and all of that but then, so as you can see there, it gets destroyed, that pilot gets destroyed, and a boat comes in. I couldn't really get it, because the enemy team kind of shot me. The ones that are helping killed me. <laughs> Those guys. <laughs> but I got like a glimpse of it just on the beach. Which, it would help. <laughs> but it crashes at sea. As you can see there, it just went offline and it's there so I tried to find C, I tried to find it, I was like oh no, there it is <laughs> there's the boat and yeah it was, it's quite a good thing if I had a better view I would have probably done it better I think it was a good shot there as well dead on but yeah before the last one which is a flood zone which I think everybody knows how, how to do, you destroy the uh, flood barrier which raises the water which it takes a lot to do but it's it's a good thing to adjust the playing field but before oh, before that one comes up I want to say thanks to all the subscribers and some people who have helped me think of some ideas about um, what to do next and uh, if you like this video remember to give it a thumbs up <laughs> really if you want to see more room to subscribe um, if you've got some um, questions or stuff like that comment and um, thanks for watching really and uh, next one's gonna be up on Tuesday which will be Minecraft I'll tell you now it's a man cannon so it literally is just a man cannon and uh, I've got another one as well after that and I've got some pixel, well, pixel art stuff which I know some I've got a few messages asking can I uh, can I show it to them and it's like I'll just do a video on it it'll be easier and yeah but on this one it's exactly the same you just have to destroy the barrier and it just gushes down so thanks for watching this video is just about to end to subscribe if you like it um, if you want to do some hung hunger games uh, leave a comment send me a message and see you guys <laughs>